Hi, Mansif M. Ahmed here. Today, we'll try to see a question. And the question is, why backdoor access is faster compared to the front door access with respect to system Verilog UVM RHEL? So, I hope you know the concept of RHEL. So, if you don't know the concept of RHEL, what RHEL is all about, Let's have a little bit discussion on this. So for example, if our DOT consists of some number of resistors and memories in it, so to, in order to verify such kind of design effectively, some innovative approach is required. Therefore, UVM provides a base class library for resistor management and their access. This approach is called as UVM RHEL register abstraction layer, in short, called as a RHEL. So, the definition of RHEL, if you see, you will find in the literature, UVM RHEL, as the name suggests, it is a high-level object-oriented abstraction layer to access the design registers. Okay. So, with the help of this diagram, we will try to understand the concept and overview of register abstraction layer. So I have taken this diagram from UVM cookbook. I acknowledge their work. If you see the functional overview diagram, you will find that the RHEL consists of three things. Register model, register database, and adapter layer. So this register model is consists of two things, register database and adapter. If you see the register database, this register database is nothing but an exact mirror image of DUT registers and memories. Exact copy of DUT registers and memory. So if our DUT consists of five number of registers and five number of memories in it, so this register database will also consist of five number of registers and five number of memories. So this is so this uh, register database is exact mirror image of DUT contains DUT registers and memories. On the other hand, you will find that the adapter layer. So the responsibility of adapter is to convert the resistor sequence into the bus sequence and vice versa. So for verifying a normal design, we have a bus agent, which consists of sequencer, driver, and monitor. The responsibility of driver is to get the bus sequence with the help of this sequencer and drive this bus sequence to the DUT based on the DUT's protocol. And this following a protocol approach is nothing but a front door access. And this bus agent also consists of monitor. So monitor capture the information from the DUT and broadcast this information to the multiple components. Multiple components means a scoreboard, reference model, and coverage collector with the help of this inbuilt analysis port. And this approach is called as front door access. And front door access will always consist, uh, will always consume some number of simulation time, some number of simulation clock cycles. If you see on the other hand, we will find this backdoor access, meaning we are writing the register sequence in such a way that we can completely bypass this bus agent and we can write that register sequence to the DUT registers and we can read the data from DUT register completely bypassing this agent. So with the help of backdoor access, we are completely bypassing this agent and we are directly writing the sequences in such a manner that we can write a data into the DUT registers and we can read a data from DUT registers. And this backdoor access does not require any number of clock cycles. Hence, this backdoor access is always faster compared to the front door access. This is what a simple answer for this question. Why backdoor access is faster compared to the front door access. So, in RHEL, if our duty consists of registers and memories in it, we are defining the register sequence and this register sequence, we cannot drive to the driver. So the driver 
if we have front door access we are we are writing a bus sequences and those bus sequences this driver drives the dut so if we are defining a register sequence this need to be convert into the bus sequence so with the help of this adapter this register sequence is going to convert into bus sequence and this driver is get the sequence this bus sequence with the help of sequencer and drive to the dut this is what a concept and overview of the rel now in this slide in the next slide in next slide you will find that there is a predictor in this diagram so the simple responsibility of predictor is to update the register database okay and predictor is nothing but a component in the uvm environment so if you see the internal structure of this predictor we will find that it has one adapter one inbuilt analysis export and one register map which is not shown here so as we are defining register sequence this register sequence is going to be convert in the bus sequence and this driver drive this to the dut bus sequence to the dut which is getting from the sequencer and monitor is capturing this information and broadcasting this information to the multiple components like uh, like predictor reference model coverage collector scoreboard with the help of this analysis port and the predictor it has inbuilt analysis export and one adapter so with the help of this adapter this bus sequences is going to convert is going to be converted in the register sequence and this with the help of this register sequence the register database is updated so this is what a simple <coughs> theory behind the register abstraction layer we have discussed the concept of register model which consists of register database adapter and predictor so in the next video we will try to and see what are different prediction methods there are three kind of predictions first one is default uh, sorry first one is explicit prediction auto prediction and passive prediction so the auto prediction is a default for every simulator and there are two explicit prediction and passive prediction we'll try to see those in the next video so i hope with this you have understood the concept why back door access is faster compared to the front door access okay and also i hope you have enjoyed this video so thanks for watching thank you